God fucking damn it. I warned all you stupid fucking assholes. I specifically disguised epileptically fast info into flashy graphic meme shit to feed your pee pee sized attention spans, but y'all just sat on your useless asses and did shit. I give up, yo. I give up. Fuck. Hey, neighbor. Got a call about a disturbance, so I just wanted to check and make sure that everything was okay. You know how the whites get when they're angry. <laughs> I fucking warned them, Officer Clemens. Now we gotta live with this neil lib dick boy for the next three years. Plus I got all these waspy ass Karen fuckers criticizing me over the Donnie videos. I feel like all I do is feel performative assholes online with hysteria. There's only one outlet for my privileged white rage now. Howdy neighbor, got your latest copy of Hometown here. Fuck Hometown! Ha <laughs> ha okay, yup. Johnny, come with me. I wanna show you something. God, fine. What the fuck is this? Some trash some college kids left on the side of the road because they thought they could recycle it? You can't recycle your broken desk with fucking Ski to East and Switchback stickers on it, kids! Call Myers. We're, We're the, the Red, Red Can, Can family. family! Motherfucker! Take a seat with me, my friend, and rejuvenate yourself in the pool of the white savior. You see, behind every loud, righteous white man is a wise old black person that they ride the dick of. Like how Neo lives, neuter MLK's words for profit, or whitewash his actions as peaceful to keep black people from disrupting the status quo. I hear you, and I'm listening. The cycle continues with you, though to a less cringy extent, but not by much. I mean, look at this pandering ass sketch we're doing. I mean, we're treading a pretty thin line here, right? I mean, I'm the black guest. I'm about as light as they come. Somehow, you got these performative Bernie bros who reposted me giving a speech at a BLM rally to actually follow you and do something because... Yeah, that seems right. You shit posted your way into becoming the number one activist in town. Whoops. I wish people asked me about Z, the Laporte sisters, the Battery Park movement, but instead they come up to me and say, Hey Clemens, you know that old North End anthem guy? I really like him. He's doing the work. By the way, are you black or Indian? So please, like your forefathers, use me in this objectifying guest spot to validate you and your words. We need you to become Burlington's boogeyman once more. You may think you've lost, but you've only just begun. You have three years of guaranteed content to make Miro's life a living hell. And peddle your shitty little pit mugs to the whites to pay your rent. So, what are you gonna do? I'm back, motherfuckers! Shit sucks for you, but look on the bright side. For the next three years, Neil, whenever you breathe, I'll be right fucking there. When you're taking a shit, I'll be haunting your fucking thoughts. When you're having awkward sex that looks like two pencils rattling in a fucking box, I'll be behind your fucking O face. <laughs> this movement only lost by a slim margin, but it's only the beginning, baby. You just signed up for the worst three years of your life, motherfucker. I'm loud, this is cringe, and now everybody's thinking about you having sex. It's season two pencils, y'all. Hey, senpai coon. I'm Johnny Wanzeran. I'm the purest form of clickbait. My last video's normiedealer.com bro brew tour explained why rent's unaffordable, what caused it, and how Mayor Wine Turd exacerbates the situation. You still thinking about them pencils bouncing around? Well, welcome y'all to my lonely nightly 3 a.m. bedroom thoughts. Let's now focus on who's responsible and how they've taken advantage of the situation. Johnny reached out to his soy boy Facebook army and asked them to stop crying over loud ass boom boom metal birds for a minute and asked for their landlord horror stories to help. And y'all came crawling to my fucking swamp to throw your local slumlords on the waffle line. Donkey! Oh, and since you slum fuck slumlords have nothing better to do, because you have the literal easiest bare minimum brain functioning jobs that have turned you complacent and greed and apathy to the point where your pee pee sized brains would rather attack me than focus on fixing the fucking nightmare hell holes you let people live in. Here's a legal disclaimer for your ass. Donkey! Hey, I'm making waffles, fam. Ha ha ha. Let's peel back the onion out. No. You know what, Johnny? Fuck you. Fuck your degrading ass costume. Yeah, make me read the boring shit in. And fuck this normie tier Shrek sketch. It's time I stick your progressive grifter ass in a costume and give all those horny single moms from Franklin County thirst trap in your inbox what they want. Motherfucking Donnie OnlyFans content. It's the Kayla Show now, bitches. Hi, I'm Johnny Wonder. Now get in the costume. I'll fuck your dad, bitch! Ah the following fucking statements are publicly submitted claims that are alleged by and are in no way proven fact, Crystal. These statements are merely fucking elevated, though. So a larger audience can hear them voices of the people. Viewer discretion is advised. Bad. Bad. Wah. Uh. Anyway, since these slum fucks got us living in literal hellholes, I've whittled down their devilish behaviors into what I like to call the seven deadly sins of slumlords. Incompetence. Greed. Laziness. Sexism. Nepotism. 
ignorance and discrimination. I couldn't go over all 500 submissions that I received from y'all, but I've whittled them down to the four biggest companies with repeated offenses. Let the shit not me commence. Woo! Now let's start with the dandies. Now the only dandies I fuck with are the ones I get in the Jurassic Park car game at Zachary's Pizza and motherfucking Earl Dandies of Dandies Diner. That's my fucking boy, y'all. All my homies fuck with Earl Dandy. Now the shitty dandies lean heavy on the discrimination sin. They allegedly rent a ton of their squalors to prisoners on parole because if the prisoners go, why come my things don't work? They can kiss the only housing that's willing to rent to them, pee pee -nan -nan. And without housing, they go back to the slammer. One former inmate, allegedly, had literal shit leaking in from an upstairs neighbor daily. They also, allegedly, had a registered sex offender guilty of kidnapping and assault working as the maintenance guy, undisclosed to all the tenants. He only got fired not because of the countless complaints of him walking into apartments unannounced, but because he robbed the fucking CBD store next to Red Square. Hey Johnny, here's some niche content for you. Along with rat infestations, unlawful evictions, and ripping off deposits, one former tenant said their office gets so many complaints, their secretary said straight up, don't bother, file a court case. I will give you props though. It's cool y'all created a band-aid system for your negligence, allegedly. Oh, and if you haven't started playing at home yet, take a shot every time I say allegedly. Now, piss in that embodies more of the slumlord sin of greed. They kicked out 40 people on Section 8 within a two-year span to essentially renovate and double rent to take advantage of the college housing shortage mentioned in part one. Another tenant's rent, allegedly, went from 1100 to 1500 their second month of renting, citing a new dishwasher and the scenic location next to the Red Cross. After obviously losing that shit in court, they aggressively showed off the tenant's apartment a year in advance every single week for multiple months, allegedly. But the worst thing they'd done by far was they stole my fucking ladder. Yeah, you heard me. My fucking ladder. These dildo chuggers came to fix some shit in my basement and took my ladder that had my name on it on a job that didn't require one. Now I ain't no fuck boy when it comes to the ladder game, so I eagle eyed that shit 10 minutes after they left. 30 minutes later, they gave me a call saying, oopsies, lost it, then gave me 15 fucking dollars for a new one. But now that I've amassed an audience through hysteria, it's time I use my power for reckless revenge by asking you all to go to their social medias and demand that they buy me a new ladder. Fuck. I hate being Robin Hood sometimes. God damn it. You know, tell them to donate a large sum to the Vermont Food Bank. Hashtag justice for Johnny's Ladder. Man, piss in that. Y'all would look pretty greedy if you didn't. And maybe give me a year supply to Al's french fries since they own that by the way. Woo! Now Piss Carbonite of Green Hill Real Estate suffers from the small dick energy of the laziness sin. Y'all I got so many complaints on this guy, where do I even start? Do I start with their broken toilet where they allegedly told a tenant to use Murder Mart's bathroom for a week? How about neglecting pipes bursting that allegedly resulted in a hallway mask between the fire chief and Piss about disconnecting all the fire alarms in the building? Maybe the window that allegedly fell out in January and took four months to replace? Or the gas power dry Fire experts warned him about that caught on fire, burning all the tenants' clothing. Those fire alarms were disconnected too. Perhaps the alleged leaking closet ceiling, or the broken ceiling tiles that belong in an office building, or the ceiling that just straight up collapsed after multiple warnings. You know, I'm gonna do one for the kids and settle on, yet again, a registered sex offender property manager working next to a school building. Or just piss straight up walking into females' bedrooms unannounced allegedly, and saying, it's okay, I have kids, I've seen everything. Only to later try to evict them because they weren't nice about that situation. I don't know which one to go with, maybe I'll come back to you pissed, but oh baby, I've been dying to do this one. Shoeless fucking management. Fuck it. I ain't even censoring their name because this one's fucking personal. You yeah, done for it. I'm on some pissed off internet white boy Facebook group admin energy. I better be a fucking black market you admin after this video, by the way. These incompetent dipshits suffer from the fabled nepotism sin. You see, a couple of decades ago, this green hair ex-punk missing a fucking spine bought up and revitalized a bunch of old North End houses to make them affordable. You know those pseudo artsy, try hard cringy ass, neo-lib, I'm Jen X, let's keep Vermont weird, fucking brightly painted houses you see around town. Things were litty for a while until, uh oh, whoops, my family's now involved happened. Giving his management and decades long good guy legacy over to his sister and her husband, who then proceeded to drive a ship into the fucking ground from negligence. Everything from black mold walls, collapsing ceilings, broken floors, leaking pipes, bed bugs, an unaddressed flooding basement, cockroaches, shady cleaners who destroyed tenants' valuables, oh, and kicking people out when the pandemic began last winter. Why this former punk, who's now a shadow of a man he once represented, only recognized by his age green hair facade, masking his capitalistic shill, hasn't done anything about the damage his family's caused is beyond me. Actually, no it ain't. It's either the everyday boomer man story of getting jaded and selfish in your older years, or you're too fucking scared to face your family when they're fucking up. Yeah, chicken shit motherfucker. And you wanna know why I'm so fucking zooted right now? Losing credibility with the older folk because I say the fuck word one too many times? Because they fucked over my cast member Kayla when she tried to move out of Bizarro Burlington, aka the meth addict cousin of her town, Plattsburgh. Like if you removed all the colleges and cultures and arts and 
hopes and dreams. Plattsburgh. They have colleges. Yeah, like baby poo poo Fisher Price colleges. That's the fucking government you problem. After Chris weirdly took a picture of Kayla for their office wall to keep track of who lives where, she used all of her savings and moved in, only to discover a massive cockroach infestation to the likes I've never even seen. And you know what these lazy, greedy fuck faces told her? This is common here. You're overreacting. I don't know about you guys, but I've lived in a dozen apartments here, some real shitholes too. And I've never seen a single fucking cockroach, nor a nest this huge. After saying a professional cleaning crew came through prior that they wouldn't disclose to her when she asked, they backtracked later saying it was on a previous tenant to clean. These fucking roaches were everywhere by the dozens. Inside the fridge, washing machine, as well as infesting her boxes, clothing, and mattress. Not even there an entire day, she pleaded with them for help. But all they said was, get shit out of luck. Disgusted, alone, and defeated, much like the man that runs the SpaghettiOs Twitter, she slept in her car midwinter because she didn't know anyone and had no money for a hotel. And within a few days, she proceeded to move back to Plattsburgh, a fate I won't even wish on Miro. She also lost most of her personal belongings because the roaches had infested her shit beyond belief before unpacking. She didn't even get to take legal action either because by the time she was able to figure out and find the resources, her 45-day residential grace period had expired. It also took her about six months to financially recover, all because some lazy, greedy assholes didn't want to hire an exterminator. Uh, nice white knighting fuckboy shit back there, but, uh, why couldn't you write any of those lines for me? Oh, uh... It was literally about me. I said, like, three things this whole video. Real Bechdel test, test hours. hours. So if you find yourself in any of these situations, like me, here's what you can do. Call Vermont Legal Aid or visit their website to learn more about the laws on renting in Vermont. Or, if you need to take action against your landlord, you can also consult the Burlington Tenants Union if you're confused and need assistance on which direction to take. Oh, and shoeless management? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna find Kayla a new apartment this fall and not one of your own. You're gonna pay half of your year's rent to make up for the money you made her lose. And you're gonna apologize to her. In person, in my studio, on camera. It'd be a real shame if you didn't. I have no control over my fans. I wonder where they would share this video. You wanna fuck with my friends? Oh, fuck with your whole shit. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what y'all expected. I'm chaotic good. <laughs> And that's the bottom line, cause the people's mayor said so. Bad wall. Sucking his dick and I'm pegging his ass and I shook that wallet out, took that cash. Am I making you mad? Making you sad cause I took all your money cause I'm fucking your dad. I'm your mom now. I'm your mom now. I'm your mommy, 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 mommy. Welcome. Use code Kayla69 for exclusive Donnie Dental Dam oral eat out fantasy picks. Wabon.